Lauderdale, Florida. This is NAB Show Live. Hey guys, my name's Addison Ricky, or at least that's what my mom told me, and this is Intro to Video Production from Broadcast Beat. Today, we're going to be talking about video DSLR cameras, or what's also referred to in the industry as HDSLRs, meaning hybrid, digital, single, lens, reflex cameras. These are photography cameras with interchangeable lenses that have the added ability to record video. In the past few years, these cameras have become extremely popular due to their ability to shoot professional looking video on a small budget. They offer great low light capabilities, beautiful shallow depth of field, a light and compact form factor, and a few of them cost less than $600. Now, you can save up and earn that money the hard way. Ugh. But I found a jar of pennies in my parents' basement. Right behind my bed. If you're shopping for a video DSLR, the first thing you should consider is the sensor. Large full frame sensors give you better low light performance and shallower depth of field. But you can pay big money for cameras with these sensors. Cameras with smaller sensors, like APS-C sensors or Micro Four Thirds sensors, can be much less expensive, and for many shooters they achieve more than enough. Just remember, most lenses are designed for full frame sensors, so on a smaller sensor, the light coming through the lens gets cropped. This means that a 50mm lens is actually equivalent to an 80mm lens on an APS-C sensor because it crops the light by a factor of 1.6. As you start to break into other nerds' basements to steal their coin jars, your budget goes up. And tons of new features become available. 4K resolution, variable frame rates for smooth slow motion, and drastically increased ISO settings for insane low light performance. As an added benefit, most of the manual controls you get for taking photos carry over to the video, precision white balance, ISO, aperture, shutter speed, and even how the camera handles different colors are all at your command. This means you have the maximum amount of control over your image, which is fantastic for shooting films and other creative projects. However, because of their nature, these cameras tend to lack many auto features that many ENG style cameras have. This makes them less ideal for running gun scenarios such as news or event videos where everything happens quickly and the perfect look isn't quite as important as just capturing everything well. Think of it this way, taking a good picture with your phone is a lot quicker than taking a picture with your high-end DSLR, but with time and skill, the DSLR can produce a far superior image. But who cares if it's just a social media selfie? Video DSLRs also generally lack XLR, or high quality audio inputs, so the use of various accessories or external recorders is required if high quality audio is important to your shoot. All said and done, a good video DSLR rig can end up looking a lot more like this. And while this rig is extremely versatile and capable, it's also heavy and expensive, and you'll probably make the FBI's most wanted list stealing that many coin jars. As with any production gear, make sure you do your research before deciding if a video DSLR is right for you and which one fits your needs and budgets. I hope this video has been a great starting point for you and you now have a basic understanding of video DSLR. FBI, we got you surrounded. I've got to run, but I hope you have a great day and continue to come back for more intros to video production from Broadcast B. I gotta run. Oh my god, it's so heavy.